Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade or downgrade your iPhone software using a very, very powerful tool. Let's get to it. So we have an iPhone 8 Plus, which is currently running iOS 13.7, and we are going to update it to iOS 14. And the tool we are going to be using is this very powerful tool called 3U Tools. Just open it there real quick and you can see it says please connect i device to PC using USB cable. So of course, where can you get this tool? Um, you can get 3U Tools from 3U.com. This is their website. Just simply click download here. Sadly, it's only available for Windows PC, no Mac. And as you can see here, an all-in-one tool for iOS devices, very, very powerful tool I've been using for a couple of years now. You can use it for file management, you can use it to download ringtones, wallpapers, apps, jailbreak, even if there's a jailbreak available, you can use it to jailbreak. You can see here, you can do a lot of things with this app and it's very, very useful. And now we are going to connect our iPhone. So we just connected our iPhone, you can see that it's reading the device and you get a lot of information about this device, the UDID, a lot of things, the jailbroken, activated, all that. So you want to tick this close iTunes option here because you don't want iTunes popping up in the background and messing anything up. As always, before you start any upgrade or downgrade process, it's always advisable to backup. So you come in here, backup and restore, and you can set your backup path. I don't need to change that. I have it where I like it and I'll just hit backup now. Mine won't take time because I have almost nothing on my phone, so it's going to be like really quick. So it takes some time if you have things on your phone. As you can see, mine is about to finish already. You even have options for other customized backup and restore here. See, mine is backed up already, only 23 seconds. Thank you. And now we'll just close this. So what we're going to do now, we are going to head into this Flash and JB, which is Flash and Jailbreak tab. To use this tool, you need the IPSW file of the software you are about to upgrade to or downgrade to. And you can get that IPSW file from this website, ipswme.com. Go in here, of course, we're about to downgrade an iPhone 8 Plus, so I'm going to choose iPhone. When that opens up, choose the one that's for your device, whatever device you have, look for it. There are so many devices on here, even the one that my father used. <laughs> so iPhone 8 Plus here and we are about to upgrade to 14.0. We are currently on this one. We are about to upgrade to 14.0. So the good thing here is that you can also do these downloads using this app. As you can see, 14.0, 18A, whatever, whatever. That's what this is. 13.717H35. That's what this one is here. So basically you are going to be downloading these things here if you choose to use the website option you know 14.0 that's what we're doing so hit that and of course hit download here so that's how you can get the ipsw standalone from the website however i advise that you use this app to download it um as you see here i already have 14.0 imported that's because i have it downloaded here so i just imported it into this place and 13.7 i downloaded it with this app so as you can see there it has downloaded written next to it by default here and here should look like this should have download and import here so i downloaded here and i imported here just to show you guys some variety so three different modes as you can see here untouched imported and downloaded so obviously choose what firmware you want to downgrade or upgrade to then download it directly in the app it will show up here in downloads or import it after downloading from ipsw.me. One more thing before you go ahead, make sure your computer is connected to the internet. Obviously, that's what you need to download if you have to download. But yes, it's important to have your computer connected because you might need to do some verification and checks and all that. Just get connected. I'm on 13.7, I'm updating to 14.0 and I've already downloaded my IPSW file here. And also I have gone ahead to import it. So let me show you guys how I imported it. Obviously here was showing like this before. So you just hit import, which will be here. Hit import, then look for the IPSW file on your computer. I have it on my desktop and here it is 14.0. So double click it and it will start importing. After importing, it's going to verify the file to make sure it is not corrupt. Very, very important. It does that because you don't want to install a corrupt firmware after importing and verifying if everything is fine it shows imported here 
However, if there's a problem, it shows you an error, which means you need to re-download again or just use the app to download the firmware proper. So down here, there's a notification saying if you have bound Apple ID, please prepare the Apple ID and password. What this means is that if you have find my iPhone turned on, make sure you know the password because you might be required to re-enter the password. So if you don't know the password to your Apple ID, please don't do this because you need to log in again. But my advice is that you should go ahead and turn off find my iPhone before you continue. So do that. I've done it already. Since I'm upgrading from 13.7 to 14.0, I'm going to use retain users data option. As you can see, the flashing mode can only help to update iOS or restore fix installed apps or user data will not be changed. So that's the right option if you are upgrading. However, if you are downgrading, it is more advisable you use quick flash mode for repairs and stuff, you know, to restore it to factory state because you are coming from a newer firmware to an older firmware. So retain user's data is okay for me and we are ready to start the flashing process. So I'll just hit flash here. As you can see, it's going to show you a summary of what you're about to do. It's telling you make sure you have a good connection between the device and the PC, which means use a very good USB cable. Here also is showing device type and here is telling you what you're about to do. 13.7 upgrade to 14.0, of course the IPSW name and the flash mode retain user data I saw earlier. And here, very important, it's also telling us that yes, we've backed up today as you saw earlier. Green, we backed up today so you can go ahead to flash. If you don't have a recent backup, it's going to show up red here and you should jump into backup now to complete that. I've checked, everything is good. Green here, backed up. We'll just go ahead to start the flash process. Again, before you start, make sure you're connected to the internet and yes, just hit flash. Now it's starting and you're going to give it some time. It says it can take up to 15 minutes or so. So it's going to try and connect to the device. It's going to put it in recovery mode, as you can see, and you know, just basically run the whole process. Now we're done, it says congratulations, retain data flash complete. The device is done updating and is currently booting up. And very soon we'll be able to enjoy the goodness of iOS 14.0. So anyways guys, that's been the video. I hope you found it useful and learned something new in the process. If you liked this video, definitely smash that thumbs up button. If you loved it and want to see more content like this, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.